Hey guys, in this video, we are going to learn about keyword arbitrary argument. This is one of the very important concept that you should learn. Keyword arbitrary argument functions in Python. Myself Rakesh and I welcome you back to my channel Automate with Rakesh. Guys, please do support me by hitting on the subscribe button. Please do subscribe to my channel and please do hit on the bell icon to stay up to date with the new content I upload almost every day. So please do hit on the notification icon. Now with that, let's get started. Keyword arbitrary argument. Now to understand any new concept, you need a very, very simple example so that you understand how things function, how things function, then you can go for a complex things. So let's get started. Let me create a simple function and I will name it as function one. You can give any name. So define function and here I, uh, what I'm going to do, if let's say if I say a comma b comma c, so what is happening here every time you are passing a limited number of parameters you are passing a limited number of parameters and if you have to use this anytime right if, if i say print um, let's say i say a comma b comma comma c so what is happening here i have got limited options what i am doing i am passing only three different values in this way using the keyword and this can be printed okay so this example you have already got it in the previous video but again just to help you refresh what i'm going to do i will take the name of this function and i'm going to pass with the values with the keywords for example a is equal to 15 any value you like let's say c is equal to any order you like that is the benefit so 80 comma um, then what is left b is equals to let's say uh, 55 so i'm passing three different values okay or keep it simple one uh, two and three okay like that i'm passing the values so what is happening this in this there is a limitation so i'm passing the values when i say print a it has printed one when i say print b it has printed three and when i say print c it has printed two you can see the output but again this has a limit you know you have to always so the only three what if i don't know how many parameters i should pass I don't know it could be three uh, arguments so when you are writing here it will it you will call it as arguments when you are defining the function you will call that as a parameter so abc here are parameters a abc here are arguments okay this should be very clear now uh, i if i don't know how many arguments i have to pass this could be three this could be four this could be five this could be ten so in that case you will be using the concept called keyword arbitrary argument so in this case what i am going to do here i will put something called two asterisk two asterisk symbols you will be using okay two asterisk symbols and whatever your uh, keyword let's say i am going to um, the variable okay so here i am passing the variable all the values to something called values i have created a variable called values or just to keep it sim simple i will say capital a okay capital a is going to hold all the values now if i'm passing a or c to b3 like that now if i run is it going to run because if you see i have put two stars and it is not able to recognize a it is not able to recognize b not able to recognize c so what is happening in this case what you do um let me print this way what i will do print and i will say uh, the uh, it is getting passed to the dictionary right this is the dictionary a and i will use two uh, i will use a square bracket and in that let's say i want to print a okay if i run this if you see the output now is printing one what if i don't write anything i'll simply say print a i'm simply saying print a so when i say print a what is happening the curly braces is an indication of a dictionary with the key a value one key c value 2 key b value 3 so key and value pairs are there if you see this is a dictionary okay so you understood when i'm passing anything can i pass multiple doesn't matter how many values you want to pass let's say i want to pass something called x y z is equals to 15 okay whatever you pass doesn't matter how many arguments you would like to pass it doesn't matter it will take everything inside it okay now how do i print all of them at a time you can also use a for each loop inside the function while you are defining the function okay so i will say four 
and I will say x in and then I am going to say x in a. a is the very argument which is parameter which is going to hold the values right. So a and here if I say print x print x. So what would happen? This is going to print all the values. If I run this, you will see it has printed. What is it has printed? A, B, uh, A, C, B, X, Y, Z. It is it is printing the keys. It is not printing the exact values. Now, how do I print the values of it? Values of it can be printed by using A and then I can say X. Okay, A is the dictionary. So when I run this, what is happening? All the Values get emitted. There is another another way. Um, you can also uh, pass it something like this. Uh, I think you can write dot keys. Let me try that dot keys. Yeah. So with this, you can also instead of writing this way, you can simply say print x. So you are learning so many things. Okay. Tap. If you run this, you can see it is going to print all the keys. If you want all the values to be printed, simply say values. So what is happening? All the values got printed 1, 2, 3, 15. So it doesn't matter how many parameters you would like to use. Let's say you want to specifically access a specific value. For that case, in that case, you will be doing print uh, and then you can say dictionary name in square bracket. Let's say I want to print only XYZ value or access XYZ value XYZ. So whatever the key name is there, you put that key name in a single quote or a double quote. And you, this way you will be able to access the value of this variable. You can see the 15 has been printed. So what is the benefit of keyword arbitrary argument at the end? It doesn't matter how many number of arguments I would like to pass. 1, 2, 3, 10 doesn't matter. You know, it is going to take n number of n number of argument, uh, you know, keys and values. Doesn't matter how many. For example, if I delete one, if I run it, still it's going to work. Okay, what would happen if I delete all the, you know, I'm not going to pass a single uh, argument to it. Let me delete. Is it going to work or it's going to throw an error? It will throw an error because you are trying to access the function. If, if I don't use the function, if I run it, what is happening? Expected an indented block after function definition on line number two. So there is no line number two. I'm not really doing anything. Let me do in this way, print and then say A. So I want to print the dictionary. So you can see the dictionary has been printed. So you can pass it blank, but again, there will be no value inside it. It's not going to throw an error like uh, normal uh, because this is an arbitrary argument. So zero value or you can pass zero values or um, unlimited values doesn't matter. You can pass number of arguments you would like to do it when you are not pretty sure about how many values to be passed to the function. That time this double asterisk marks will help you. So what is the learning point here? To create a keyword arbitrary argument, all I have to do is after the function name within the parenthesis, I have to use the two asterisk symbols and write the variable name, whatever the variable name it could be. Okay. And to access the values, I can, the way we access values from a dictionary, we can do it either using a dot keys, a dot values or by a square bracket and then you writing the key name. So different ways you can you know, target the values that you would like to use. So that's all about keyword arbitrary arguments. I hope you must have learned a lot of things through this video. Please do practice it the way I'm doing it. Just try to practice it once. Once you practice, you will definitely get an understanding how things are working when it comes to a key keyword arbitrary argument and how this is flexible compared to normal functions and passing the normal parameters and arguments, right? So this way it will be pretty clear. So thank you guys. Uh, for watching this we are going to meet once again in our next video till then take care bye bye and please do subscribe to my channel and hit on the bell icon we are going to meet once again in the next video bye bye